little bit heavier on this side. Well, you saw it. Uh, I got another unusual load today, uh, loaded with a crane. And it was a bit tricky because this thing is, uh, uh, you can load it legally one way, the way it is on my truck now, or you can turn it, which would be a bit easier on the trailer, but then it'll be uh, over the edges, and then you have to get permits, and so nobody would give us oversized permit when the actual piece can be positioned so that it's legal dimensions, right? So that's the general rule. And so we had to put it like this, right? It's pretty heavy. They said there was uh, 30 tons or actually 32 tons, but uh, I went through the scale. I'm at uh, 108,000 pounds, my gross. So knowing my empty weight is 47. So this thing weighs 61,000 pounds. And how do you load something like this, right? It has these uh, legs over here, but they're like very flimsy. They're just here to prevent it from rolling. And the main, that's what they even told me. They said the main weight is gonna be in the middle. Well, like, don't worry about it. The, the main weight is over there. I said, guys, you realize I have an open floor, right? It's a low boy trailer. Oh, okay. And so, you know, before they let me in the factory, I was playing with this thing. First, I put the boards across. But then, you know, how do you, if you put them across, how do you load the machine, right? Basically, yeah, this way, it's wider this way. Like, if you put it, flip it around, it'll, the, these sides over here, these uh, eyes will be over the edge of the trailer. So, but, you know, so now it's pretty much all the way it sits, all the way, all the way it sits, uh, see over there, in the middle. But I made sure that's my middle of my trailer. So my scale, my axle weights are perfect. I'm like 40, 49,000 over there. I'm the same, like 48.5 on the drives and the pusher and 11,000 something, like 500 on the front. Like perfect in terms of weight. And you see, these are my uh, cross members, right? So at least this way, even though it's not touching over here, but it's sitting in the middle and those boards, they, they rest on these four, three, on these four cross members. And plus this does help. So this does support at least some weight on both sides. And you see, they made sure that they put those, <laughs> it's a 30 ton machine. They put this little thing under here. Of course it cracks, but you know, it's still sitting. It's not moving, so there's still at least some weight is transferred to this inner beams. Okay, and of course this is a part of the drilling machine, the one that uh, drills uh, tunnels. I wanted to say something funny that it's an anti-mosquito killing machine, but you guys are already tired of my humor probably. So yeah, this thing actually, if you saw the movie Running Man, there was a scene there with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger where he runs away and this machine is chasing him and. It, crushes walls and <laughs> and also this was in one of the uh, similar machine was in one of the 007 movies 
where there was a boat like a submarine equipped with something like this and it was just drilling into the side uh, of the ship so basically this whole thing rotates you know the rig the actual machine sits over there right but this whole thing rotates and all these are spinning and you know it's crazy and this thing can drill a tunnel or whatever you want you know so if this thing weighs uh, 61,000 pounds you can imagine what the actual machine weighs <laughs> The machine that powers this, and it's connected over here, right? That's where they have all these eyes. See over here? I figure that's where the machine connects, and you have all these millions of hoses. Oh, of course, hydraulics. You know? A very unusual piece of equipment. Very tricky to load. And because of the weight, uh, they told me it was uh, so 32, ton 32 tons. I did a quick calculation. 32 times 2.2, 32,000 times 2.2. That's 70,500 pounds. Jeez, I definitely need more than you know four chains, right? At first, I put two chains on the front, two in the to the to the back, and I figured, okay, I need another pair. But then when they scared me with the weight, I put two more on each side so now I have like what four pairs of chains that's good for like 80,000 pounds but you gotta work with you know you gotta use what what you have right at least they didn't want me to top it I like that so it was not easy it was difficult but that's why they pay us the big bucks and you know I had one uh, timber left so what do you do with it you know so I figured I might use it as a little block so I put it in front of this because you know this will definitely stop the 30 ton machine from moving forward you know I don't see why not so if everything else fails then this little 3 8 chain <laughs> will, <laughs> will stop this drill from go from getting into wrong hands because this is one dangerous piece of equipment you know I'm gonna be tomorrow at the board crossing and the officer Oh yeah, and you see, of course, I, I had to use my shackles. I love these. These come in so handy many times because these holes, I couldn't put my hooks in, you know? Because the, this thing is too thick. So you gotta use shackles. You gotta have these if you're a heavy hauler. And the hooks, I love these hooks. So I was just saying that tomorrow when I'm uh, crossing the border into US, and I'm going to Nebraska with this, and they're gonna ask me if I have any weapons on board. I'll have to tell them about this because I don't have anything on board, but I have this. This can definitely be used as a weapon. You, you, can, you can destroy uh, a lot of property with this. And all this is very sharp, you know? So these are knives that also spin. And basically what happened is that these guys, uh, yeah, where I picked it up, they make these. They make these machines and they fix them. So this was in for repairs. And now I'm taking it to Nebraska to the customer who actually uses this machine. And that's, that's the deal. And then on the way back, they already gave me a load. I'm gonna pick up some kind of a dump trailer. Kind of like agricultural trailer with, uh, I don't know, six or seven axles. and. I, we're gonna load it on the on the trailer and I'm going to I'm taking that to Quebec and after that I am uh, shutting down for a couple of days and doing my uh, extra ratio change oh and I picked up uh, gears today I picked up my f uh, 410 gears uh, what was it 1800 bucks no wait 1600 bucks plus tax so I already have the gears it's a done deal now all i gotta do is uh, park the truck inside my uh, mac shop and let them do their magic and so they're gonna they're gonna take these out all right 
see how huge these are because this is 46,000. So I have to disconnect everything, take the axle out, take this diff and take it apart. Oh, there's bolts in there somewhere, right? And then disconnect all this, all these drive shafts. Yeah, that's, they said it was like six hours per, per diff of labor. And then when they take the gears out, they take the old one 3.91 out, they put 14 in. And then part of the deal is that I gotta take this uh, 391 back to the gear shop because that was, uh, they gave me this good price. They gave me this good price uh, because they're getting the, the old ones back. So, so that's what I'm doing over the next week and a half probably. So thanks for watching, stay tuned for more adventures of Heavy Hole TV.